this treadmill is what I've picked up cheaply and um, in order to get it into the car I had to um, take the handlebars down and the wires were quite tight and no plug to disconnect them and in the process I think I took a wire off so I've had a strip down job to identify a loose connection but having done that uh, it looks as though the display comes on all right and then if I press start three two one and you see the motor fairly silently bursting into life there that's quite useful so that's obviously working uh, and uh, responds to speed can hear it going a little bit faster now that's the motor running at a decent speed I don't know how fast it goes up to here well that's 8.8 .8 miles per hour so that's its uh, high speed and then there's the incline motor but you won't be able to hear that when that's on so let's stop slow that down it's going to slow down now right, slowing down okay and then there's the incline motor. Well, actually, can't tell much incline. All right, I can't. Oh, I've got, you know what I've got and done? In reconnecting the wires, I have in fact um, put the incline wires back to front. The incline motor working fine and I don't need it but there's a pulse meter on there as well. Heart rate. Way up. Right, before I forget, I'm going to just record the layout. So that's the power input with some cut-off device. The so socket comes in here, live and neutral. Live goes through something which is like a circuit breaker, resettable, uh, through a switch, which switches them both off. And then, I uh, can't remember which way these went, but let's assume that this is the live going up to the uh, control panel at the head and the neutral uh, here the white wire goes down to the base of the thing and there's your earth connection so the live will follow going up to the top okay here we are at the top so the live comes in on the gray and goes to the micro switch which is the safety cutoff switch and then what we have is an output from that safety switch which makes the live a blue wire now one of it goes back down through this so it comes up here and then goes back down again <coughs> once it's gone through the safety switch here the other side which is again the switch live goes to the central terminal on the up down switch for the up down motor and for the up down motor then that live is switched between the red or the black of those two wires the other thing up here is simply the control board 
And the control board has a multi-way connector to it here, and those are from the um, pulse meter, uh, the pulse meter connector. So that's just the multi-way connector to the control board and display up at the top. But the main thing I wanted to remember was red and black uh, switched from the live. So when going up it will go to red, when going down it will switch to the black. Um, right, and then the cutout switch, that's all there is up there. Right, well here's that blue wire coming down from above. Uh, so that's the live to the live terminal here through the fuse on the control board. Uh, there's the uh, white wire which came down from the switch, which will be the neutral into there. And then the other end of that is the neutral, which goes to the up down motor. And here are the red and black wires the up and down. So the neutral goes in there and you switch live to one end or live to the other end to control which way that motor goes. And from this panel, then all that you have is uh, outputs, two outputs here, uh, red and black, your DC outputs to the, uh, to the main motor, the uh, conveyor belt or rolling uh, treadmill motor uh, for the DC uh, and then your connections for the multi-way so presumably from this <coughs> you've got the power going out to power the control panel and the signal coming back from the control panel to control the speed of the DC motor so the only thing I need to ponder now is uh, which wires are sending the power up to the control panel and which might be those two at the end, but I don't know. And then which wires are the control signals to control the speed of the motor? And then we've got the motor speed control unit. And just a quick <coughs> reminder, that's the motor with its red and black wires to power it and an earth terminal. Uh, so there we go. For now I'm going to stick with trying to video this on the phone. So the sum total of all the connections to the control panel are the two from the uh, heart rate sensors, so the heart rate sensor board, and then this single five-way Molex type connector. Fortunately there is uh, a little legend here which, uh, well I've drawn it out to make it a little bit clearer. Top two are labelled AC, the middle one is labelled ground, the next one down is labelled out, and the next one below that is plus 8V, but it's not quite clear, I can't see it could be plus BV or plus something, but it's a plus there. And the colour of the wires from those is red, top, yellow, blue for ground, white for out, black for the bottom one. And that's on that Molex connector there going down to the rest of it. Now looking at the control board what we've got is live in, well those two connect together you can see the grey of the copper track underneath through a fuse uh, and then neutral in, neutral goes directly to one end of a bridge rectifier which is under there uh, and you've got the positive and negative output from the bridge rectifier. The negative goes into this box here, which contains a lot of workings. Um, the positive goes to one end of this huge electrolytic capacitor. And eventually, you know, they come out here as um, positive and negative output to the motor. Uh, it says M plus and M minus on there. So that's M plus M minus. So if we go over to the circuit diagram, or this one here. Yeah, it's M plus M minus. Right, so live and neutral in there. We have another transformer at the other end of this panel here, or a transformer. Uh, 
AC mains in on the red, a black and blue out, 10 volts and 17 volts AC. The 10 volts AC goes to the top two pins on this connector here. The uh, other 17 volts AC goes to a bridge rectifier capacitor. And I think that's a, a 12 volt voltage regulator uh, chip on there. Uh, so that's supplying the DC uh, power uh, for the rest of the control board. So given that these are AC outputs going up to the top panel, then these three are what's coming back down from the top panel. And I'll just check on the colors of those. So coming down from the top panel, we've got red and yellow. Um, oh no, going up to the top panel, the AC going up is red and yellow. And then in order, we've got blue, white, black on the bottom three. So on here, it's red, yellow, that's the AC out of that transformer. Uh, blue, white, black coming back down from the control panel, being the signals which are going to control the motor speed. So, uh, and so if I look at that, red, yellow, blue, white, black, Transfer to top panel, red, yellow, blue, white, black. So that is the AC that's coming from downstairs. Uh, it says the blue is the ground, labeled out and plus V, coming back down again. Uh, so there we have our connections then to the top control panel. Meaning that if I can work out uh, what signals are needed on these wires then we can control the motor from a separate control panel. I may be wrong whatever I say in these videos please please uh, take care and check but as far as I can tell for the up and down motor although it seems to be one that wants uh, some sort of funny phase from the diagram it's got three inputs live into a switch on the control panel that goes one way or another to a black and a red wire that black and red wire come down uh, and go into the motor neutral goes into the motor and so the live goes up to the switch and live up comes down one way switch it the other way is live down and that controls the direction of the motor and the up and down so that's the motor for driving the screw jack on the treadmill